So in order to share or export multiple files at one time, uh, once you're in Hobo Mobile, uh, tap on the data files. And this will bring you over to your recent data files. It's going to show you the last 10 that you have offloaded. In this particular case, I have a lot more on this device, so I can go down to all data files or depending upon uh, how I have them grouped. Um, from here, uh, whether you're over here, you can check the select button and you can send a bunch of data files at once, or we can come over and select the individual data files uh, that we want to send. So I'm just going to go through and check off a bunch of these here. And then in the bottom left, you'll see the share button. Go ahead and tap on that, at which point you want to select the file type. Now, the Hoboware file, um, that is the smallest and can be opened up in Hoboware or Hoboware Pro. And then we have the, the XLS file, which those typically, well, if you have a full data file, they're going to run about 2 megs. And then we have the CSV and the text files, which can run about 4 megs with a full data file. We'll go ahead and select the SLX. And uh, as you can see here, uh, what this does is it goes through and it starts generating the file for you. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, let's say one of these you didn't want, you can actually tap cancel and it'll skip over that. And uh, when it comes time to send the email, uh, not all email servers are created equal. Uh, the one here at Onset will allow you to send upwards of about 20 megs worth of data. I know using Gmail, uh, you can send 40, 45 megs or more. Um, so it's something to be conscious of when you do select uh, a lot of files at one time and the file type. I'll just cancel out of this so then we can move on to the, to the share here. And when this, once this is complete, you'll see in the upper right this icon, the share icon, get lit again. And you just go ahead and tap on that. If you happen to have uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on, you can use the AirDrop. But we're going to go ahead and use the mail client. Uh, so I have eight files here that I'm going to send because I did cancel out of some of those. So I'll put in my email address here and go ahead and hit send. Now one of the things that you want to be aware of is just because you'll hear the whoosh sound from your phone, uh, you're going to want to confirm that you actually did receive uh, the email. So in some cases uh, the server may not have sent it out. So before you go to manage any of the data that's on your phone, make sure you or whoever you sent it to did receive it. So and what I'll do is just flip over to my mail program and as you can see here, this one that just got sent just came in. So uh, we'll go ahead and tap on the top one. Uh, as you can see, the data files here are running about 1.1 to 1.3 megs. It has all the files here. And what I'd like to show you is actually I had a hiccup here where it looked like it sent the, the files, but for whatever reason, uh, the data wasn't attached. So that's something that you just want to be aware of. But now that I've confirmed that uh, I did get all of my data, I can go back over to Hobo Mobile. And if I so choose, I can come down and then let's say I can delete some of these files. And they're gone. So that's a quick and easy way to share multiple data files using the mail program within Hobo Mobile.